Welcome to Maths with M's, Grade 9, Lesson 4, Adding, Subtracting, Multiplying, and Long Division in Columns. Please don't forget to give me a use like and to subscribe. Right, let's first look at addition. Let's say we, if we have to add 3,758, plus 5486 without a calculator but you must add in columns then there are different steps that must be followed now remember your place values within your number like the three and the five are thousands the seven and the four are hundreds the five and the eight are tens and the eight and six are units don't forget that so when we add we first add the units. So the units, look, you can only, you can first add the thousands if you want to. If you add the thousands, you get 8,000. If you add the hundreds, you get 1,100. If you add the tens, you get 130. If you add the units, you get 14. But to do it like that, it's a bit time consuming. So we rather choose to find a shorter way of doing it. So if you start with the units, if you add all the units, it will be basically be 8 plus 6, right, plus 4, and that gives you a 14. And you carry, we call you carry 1. So 5 plus that carried 1 is 6, plus 8 is 14, and you carry another 1. So 7 plus the carried 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, and you carry another 1. So 5 plus 3 is 8 plus the carrot one is nine. Let's do subtraction. Four, 8,432 minus 3,957. And again here, we need to be very careful when we subtract. So when you subtract, so again, if you look at the thousands, if you add them all up, you get 8,432 and so forth. So a much quicker way of doing it is rather to do it in columns. So you'll say two, take away seven, not possible. So I must go to the three and borrow from the three. Then there's two left. So therefore it is now 12 minus seven, which is five. Then five cannot be taken away from two. So again, I must borrow so that I can have now in the next column something bigger. So now I have 12. So 12 minus 5 is 7. Then again, I must borrow. So that is how you do it. You borrow each time. Then you're going to have uh, and so on. So, you, so it's very important that you must take note that if the number is too small, you need to go to the next number and go and borrow. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Let's see multiplication. 3,489 times 7. So again, there's the longer way of doing it. We can multiply 7 times 9, 7 times 80, 7 times 400, and 7 times 3,000. Much longer way of doing it. However, there is a shorter way of doing it where you multiply in columns. So you start with 9 times 7, which is 63. Write down the 3 and carry the 6. 7 down 8 is 56, plus the carry 6 is uh, 62, carry 6. 7 times 4 is 28, plus the 6 is, to, of course, 24, carry. Then 7 3 is 21, plus the carry 3 is 24. So you need to practice to get this right. So if we do long division, 75 divided by 4. The answer is 18 remainder 3. So let's talk about this. So 4 is called the divisor. 18 will be the quotient or the answer. And 75 is the dividend, the number in which you must divide. So 4 into 7 goes 1. So you put the right down the 1 on top. And then we multiply 1 times 4 is 4. And then you subtract 4 from 7, which is 3. Then you bring down the 5 because 3 is too small. Then you repeat 4 into 35. 8 times, because 4 times 8 is 32, subtract, and there's a 3 left. And there you are. So the answer is 18, remainder 3. Alright, let's look at the second long division example. 
like 381,3 divided by 31. So where do we start? Well, 31 into 3 cannot, but into 38, 1. So put a run one on top, then subtract. 38 minus 31 is 7, then drop the 1. Now you have 31 into 71 twice, right? Because it gives you 62, and subtract, and you have 9 left. Now you need to place the decimal comma immediately, and then bring down the 3. So 93 divided by 31 is 3 times, because 3 times 31 is 93. Subtract, and you're done. But please take note, the decimal comma does not change its position. Look at multiplication, like 34 times 5. Then you must first multiply the 1's first, like 5 times 4 is 20. That's what you do first, then you multiply the tens and place the results underneath. Remember the 3 in 34 is signified by 30. That's a 30. So 5 times 3 is 100, that's 15, but you need to place your 0. That's clear. So therefore be careful, 5 times 4 is 20, carry 2 in other words, 5 times 3 is 15, right? So, so it gives you then 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 2 is 7, and 1 is on its own. If you look at multiplication, of course, people, there are different ways of multiplying without a calculator. This example here is only one way. So if we have the number 391 times 39, then, of course, you start by multiplying 9 times 1, which is 9. 9 times 9, which of course is 81, and you carry 8. 9 times 3 is 27, of course, plus that 8 gives you 35. So you have 3, 5, 1, 9, if you multiply by 9. Then in the next row, you multiply by 3. So if you multiply by 3, you must skip a place value. So under 9, you put a 0. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 9 is 27, carry 2. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. So for the next row, you get 11730. Now you add in columns. 0 plus, zero is not, zero plus 9 is 9. 1 plus 3 is 4. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry 1. 3 plus the carry 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. And of course, 1 is on its own. Please make sure that you can do this by practicing. But I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, on multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division in columns. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. This is Ahmed Suleiman. See you next time.